And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. We got a very cryptic message inside of our inbox right now. It says, there has been a great disturbance in the Force. The dark side is rising. And this is in reference to the new AAT tank raid that is going to be coming out. There's video footage of this right here. This was released a couple months ago. And they said that this new patch will be released by the end of the month. So sometime in August. I know I am waiting for it. I cannot wait. And the thing is, the data miners have found some of the stats to the B-2 rocket trooper and the AAT tank abilities and we're going to go over them before we do that i just wanted to show you that i unlocked the han solo from the raids i'm pretty excited about that here's the thing though is i really don't know how good he is i probably am not going to develop him at all until i get him up to seven stars so right now he is at five stars but if i take him higher it's a tremendous amount of gold a tremendous amount of parts so I probably don't want to do that unless I know he's going to be really good in the squad arena or something like that. And I have not seen a lot of use of him in the squad arena. Some people use him, but not a lot of people are. But I'm going to wait until I get him to seven stars. I'm not going to develop him at all. And I've got a lot of heroes like that. All right, let's go to swgoh.gg and look at some of these stats. Now... Here's a disclosure. They can change these stats at any time. They can manipulate them. They can alter them. It's kind of unclear, but I think this will kind of give us an idea of what we're looking at. I'm mean, not really sure what it's going to be like, but this is just going to kind of foreshadow what we're going to get. But they can change this at any time. I don't consider this to be set in stone or that it is going to be this way. Absolutely. They've been known to put dummy stats in here and they've been known to change things once it's gone live so i'm gonna read them anyways we're gonna go over them because i'm pretty excited about it but the aat abilities high explosive shells has a two turn cooldown deal physical damage to all of the minis yuck this attack cannot be evaded or countered wow all right is sendry cells deal special damage to all enemies and inflict four damage over time effects for two turns this attack cannot be evaded or countered this ability starts on cooldown and that has a four turn cooldown down that's going to make akbar useful we've got a stat right here with question mark then we've got war machine this unit and its weapons may attack and be attacked independently oh so there's gonna be like turrets and you can attack different parts of it that seems pretty cool and turn meter reduction effects are only half as effective against them Ooh, that means no tebow anymore when a weapon system is disabled it will reboot after some time but if all weapon systems are offline simultaneously this unit unit will become toppled and grant morale boost to the attacking party so this kind of reminds me of like the first part of the rancor raid maybe it's like the gamorian guards brute and captain where it's got the two guys on the side but it looks like it'll get toppled like a door hit when you take out the turrets okay morale one all attacking units gain 100 critical chance so that's kind of like the door hit on the rancor phase two and three morale two tanking units gain 25 percent speed if all three of the AAT weapon systems were disabled within one of its turns. Morale 3, attacking units that were the primary target of the main cannon's attack and survive gain 100% critical damage. When the AAT recovers from topple, morale bonuses are lost and the AAT and its side cannons gain 100% turn meter. Wow. I have a feeling this is going to be really hard and I'm very excited. Fearsome Foe 2, this has a 15 turn cooldown and this is kind of like rancor and the gamorian captain as long as it isn't toppled it has 50 percent tenacity plus one bonus action so it can go two turns and it gains five percent turn meter whenever it takes damage in addition it takes reduced damage from percent health damage effect and its turn meter gain effects can't be prevented and it's immune to stun ability block health down cooldown increases and massive damage effects fearsome foe begins the countdown when the counter begins when it completes all enemies will become enraged into the end of the encounter and this is the way that the rancor is right now so this is not different fearsome foe one as long as the unit isn't toppled it gains five percent turn meter whenever it takes 
takes damage. In addition, it takes reduced damage from percent health damage effect. Its turn meter gain effects can't be prevented. It's immune to stun, ability block, health down, cooldown increase, and massive damage effect. All right, so that seems similar, but boy, the main thing I think right here is this way, this war machine. This is what I think is the most interesting. All right, we've also got the B2 Rocket Trooper warm up shop, deal physical damage to target enemy and gain offense up for one turn. Scatter shot, deal physical damage to all enemies with a 50% chance to afflict ability block for one turn, with a 50% chance to also inflict offense down for two turns. Barrage, deal unmitigable damage to all enemies and inflict healing immunity for two turns then this ability's cooldown is reduced by one for each defeated ally wow this ability starts on cooldown all right directing fire order an ally to use a special ability then summon up to six b1 battle droid allies okay so this is the boss and this is going to have all the battle droids attack at once that sounds nuts and then here we go we've got a placeholder ability we don't know what it is and then we've got fearsome foe which is pretty much exactly the same as the AAT tank. So I'm excited. We can all start theory crafting and what this is going to be like. We don't know for sure. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this could change at any time. And I am fully expecting this to come out sometime in the next two weeks. Plus, that little note that they sent us means it's probably going to be sooner than that, but we'll see. I don't expect it to be longer than two weeks, so there you go. Right here in the middle of the screen, there's a link to all of my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos. Please subscribe and like the video, and as always, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.